Well, the reason that we founded the fair in the first place uh, was so that we could bring together a lot of people to talk about herbal medicine and natural healing because there's a huge demand for it in the world today. This is a time and place where people actually have the opportunity to come see each other, to reintegrate themselves with the land, with the energy, with the, the sense of community, the volunteerism, the educational aspects. And how better than to have music and educational events and all your friends come and spend a weekend with you. My role with the fair is to facilitate, to delegate, but also to visualize and find the inspiration necessary to get us to where we've gotten here. We have a new phrase for it. Some would call it director, we call it conductor. Um, conducting the energy, keeping the flow of the fair going. I'm the behind the scenes person for basically 11 months. I've always been in charge of the workshop, lining up workshop leaders and making sure the whole workshop educational component works well. And that's what I'm pretty much focused on. So this is my first fair and I'm the vendor coordinator and assistant director now, so I kind of jumped right in. Um, just because there was so much to be done and such great people and our first meeting was really powerful with our circle of the council members and I really just got inspired. A big part of my motivation for being part of the fair this year was to bring skills and tools on social development and allow them to be used for putting together a large-scale social event. I'm coordinating and uh, directing basically in cooperative effort to provide the food and the shelter to the gathered community as a cooperative effort working very closely with the event organizers. We've got an amazing group of people pulled together here. Again, I just want to welcome everybody to this space and again, thanks for being here. This, this, this gathering could not happen and cannot happen without your input and your help. So, much gratitude for being here. Thank you. I love the work. I love being part of a team that can co-create a gathering, something so magical like this. People can come and, and have such a great time and, and learn more about healing ways of herbs. And so when you bring a group of people together that have the same wavelength or the same mission, they really reinforce each other. And it's a big spiritual shot in the arm. It just makes everybody uh, more empowered to go out into the world, into their more isolated situations and, and keep doing the work. And especially people that come year after year after year, you get to know a wider and wider circle of people. Like when I walk around here, I, can, I know fully a third of the people here. There's many friends I don't see except at the Herbal Fair. But I see people at this festival that I only see once a year. This, they come here, you know. So it's very much um, a family gathering or family sense tribal gathering. I just look forward to this year after year. I, I make sure that I know what date it is every year and put it in my calendar because it's, it's just so beautiful. I just think that it's, it's um, a great crowd. It's a good amount of people, but it still feels really small. Um, it's just so freeing to be at the fair. It's like, can't we just live like this? <laughs> so that work is directly Yeah, absolutely. So, um, what can people expect? To great music, fantastic food. What I think is really great is just the setting of it. To me, it seems to be the ideal place for bringing people together. Being up here with the river and the mountains and, and uh, camping amidst the trees, it's nice. The people here are warm and loving and welcoming and if you're new or unfamiliar then they want to know you, they want to meet you, they want to invite you to belong and be part of the community and part of the friendship. It's an exchange of ideas but it's also an exchange and building of energy. It has everything to do with healing medicinal herbs, but it also has to do with healing arts. It also has to do with a mentality, a mentality of spirituality that has nothing to do with your God or my God. It's about a cooperative spirituality that has to do with the land and incorporating the medicine of the land that becomes the medicine of our heart and therefore becomes the medicine of our community. And it's all about branching those together, you see. It's, uh, it's a gathering of folks that are like-minded, um, very appreciative and understanding of the needs that we have on this planet for sustainability and, and living together in community. It's an unexpected result when you think you're just going to take a few herbal wor workshops and you come home with your, your whole heart just feeling full. If you leave your expectations at home and come with the unexpected opportunity to experience magic, I, I think that's what you'll find, magic. We've been typically running about 100 workshops 
50 speakers, including people that are nationally and regionally known. There's just a, a wealth of knowledge and information here that can help you or your loved ones. Look at the quality of the instructors that are here. Look at the presenters that are here. Look at the educational aspect of this event. We keep it really affordable because we want just the general public to be able to come. We want you know, poor people to be able to come. We want the grassroots to be able to come. So we're the cheapest, the least expensive herbal conference of our kind in the country as far as I'm aware. I teach at a lot of different herb conferences and since I started in the 80s, they've gone up more and more in price. So I wanted to see what a $60 a weekend herb conference, who it would bring, I wanted to feel the energy of it, so it sounded like fun and it, uh, I wanted to see the model. Well, I've taught here for three or four years now and I always love it. It's just, it's fun to be here and uh, people are receptive, that people are uh, really interested in whatever topic they're, they're going to workshops for. You know, it's not like just, gen it's generally not just a superficial thing, it's like I really want to understand this. I believe it's a really great local bioregional uh, festival that I love to support. So, you know, just being able to talk with other herbalists about their point of view and how they see healing and all of that and just getting new tidbits of information. Uh, for the amount of education you can get here, we're a great value. And the knowledge that comes here to teach the workshops is the top of the top. It's great. Be able to sit in a small group of 30 with this, these teachers and have a very personal interaction with them and ask them anything you want, that's extremely unique.